In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a double exposure effect in Photoshop. Let's begin. First, go to File and choose New to create a new document. Name the document and set the document settings as shown. Once you're done, click Create. Now drag and drop the flying bird's image onto the canvas. Right-click the Flying Birds layer and choose Rasterize layer. Next, bring in the subject image. Reduce its opacity so you can see how it aligns with the bird's image underneath. Resize and position it as shown. Then set the opacity back to 100%. Right-click the subject layer and choose Rasterize layer. Now, position the Flying Birds image as shown. Reduce subject layer's opacity so you can see how it aligns with the bird's image underneath and do the adjustments as needed. Once you're done adjusting, increase subject layer opacity back to 100%. Then right-click the subject layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Select the Flying Birds layer and click the Add Layer Mask button. Then right-click the subject layer thumbnail and choose Select Pixels. Select the Flying Birds Layer's layer mask and press Ctrl, Shift, and I together to invert the selection. Choose the Brush tool. Under Brush Settings, pick the Soft Round Brush from General Brushes. Set Foreground Color to Black. Use Bracket Keys to adjust brush size. Gently brush and erase the unwanted parts of the Flying Birds image as shown. Next, select the clipped subject layer and press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Move this duplicate below the bird's layer. Hold Alt and click the layer mask button to add an inverted layer mask to this duplicate. Add a black and white adjustment layer. Drag it to the top and change its preset to maximum black. Then, select the clipped subject layer and click the layer mask button to add a layer mask. With the soft round brush selected and the foreground color set to black, brush over the birds to remove the subject texture and reveal the bird details as shown. Before brushing over the front face area, lower the brush opacity to around 30%. Now gently brush over it as shown. This will enhance the bird texture while preserving some facial details, making the overall effect look more balanced and good-looking. Now, select the inverted mask on the subject duplicate. Increase brush opacity back to 100%. Make sure soft round brush is selected, then switch the foreground color to white, and brush is shown to bring back some more facial details. Reselect the clipped subject layer's layer mask. Switch the foreground color to black and brush again as shown to enhance the bird texture. Now select the flying birds layer and press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. This will make the bird details more clear. Select the top layer. Now add a levels adjustment layer at the very top. Drag the slider and set the shadow input level to 13. Set the highlight input level to 231. Hold Ctrl and select these four layers. Then press Ctrl and G to group them. Right click the black and white layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. Then right click the levels layer and choose Create Clipping Mask for levels layer as well. Finally, select the background layer and add a gradient adjustment layer above it. Click the Gradient Preview to open the Gradient Editor. From the basic section, choose this gradient. If it's missing, copy these settings. Set Style to Radial. Check Reverse. Set Scale to 460% and click OK. That's it. 
you've successfully created a double exposure effect in Photoshop. If this tutorial helped, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.